I am going to install the Outback Motor Tech luggage rack on the back here. But one of the things that I need to take into consideration is that I'm going rackless, which means that the system I'm going to use is the giant loop. This one. So what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna be putting it over the top of this like this, but these handle grips, these lifter bars, these pillion handles are not gonna let it sit right on the bike. So I've come up with a solution and we're gonna see if it works. So the first step is obviously to get the stock luggage rack off the back. I've already loosened all of these up because who wants to waste time watching me undo all of these? And so I'm gonna take all of this out of here real quick. And then I'll show you the issue that I, we had to overcome and we're gonna see if it works. So I take all of that out of here, right? But I'm gonna leave the handle here for a second. Just one of them. See there. If you notice, when this sits in here like this, it takes up a gap, that much here and that much there. So well, that much here, and that much there. So we have to spacer it if I want to get rid of the handles because the Outback Motor Tech has a shelf for the plate itself. So it goes boom and then boom, right? So this bracket needed to sit on top of the handles. Well, I don't want the handles there. So we have to put in a spacer. So I have come up with this little rig. Outback sends a steel spacer or aluminum spacer, or whatever that is, eight millimeter, eight M size hole. And then I ordered some same bolt size hole di inner diameter spacers, nylon washer spacers. And then I have found a combination that works to put in here like this and then bolt everything down. Now, my only concern at this point, at the, uh, during the thinking about it phase was, is the lateral movement going to be, or the forward and backward movement strength going to be enough because the handles were there before giving it, you know, when you build a bridge, you put the cross beams, right? So I'm wondering if it's going to be good enough. So I'm going to tighten all of this down and then I'm going to put it all together and we're going to see. So um, the next part's going to be fast. Oh yeah. One part that we have to remember, one part is that the depth of the hole here where it screws down into is only so deep. So you have to have enough spacers to, so it doesn't bot, the bolt doesn't bottom out. Um, but I wanted it to be a little bit lower than if it had been sitting on top of the handles. So I did that equation in my mind and figured out how many spacers it is. Anyway, back to it. Um, also, because I bought the outside diameter was too big. See how this spacer is, you know, it's smaller. And I didn't realize when I ordered it that the hole here where it's going to have to sit in wasn't going to accommodate that outside diameter. So I took a Dremel to it. I mean, it's not real pretty, but it's going to sit down in the recess. So I'm not going to see it anyhow. Uh, back to it. So now we just put the top plate on. Outback Motor Tech sends you the hardware, of course. Allen key and a nut, a locking washer or locking nut underneath. And there we go. Florida 901 Sands hand grips. Plus Outback Motor Tech luggage rack.